What's up guys, Evil Deer here. So today I'm going to talk about some of the shenanigans I got up to recently in Fiji. <laughs> okay, so before I can jump straight into the story, I first need to give you a little bit of background about me in general and my family. So first up, this story revolves around the international language Esperanto, like a lot of my videos, and also the religion Wicca. Now that's something I haven't previously talked about on my channel, but I'll get into it. So first up, Wicca is basically modern witchcraft. So it's not like people riding on brooms sticks going <laughs> type of thing but it's um it's the belief in the old Celtic gods and also various other gods mixed in stuff like that so for instance there's the belief in the the horn god um, the the na natural cycles of the moons it's really like this old religion that existed before Christianity came along and just went I'm gonna kill you all <laughs> but anyway, so it's it's based from Britain and that type of area and it's kind of spread out especially after witchcraft Which was illegal in Britain. I think up until like the 60s or something was Rescinded and people can now openly practice it. So how does this relate to Wicca you're asking? Well, I'm glad you asked because my dad is actually a Wiccan and he has been ever since I can remember But I've never really asked him that much about it And he hasn't really spoken much about it because that's just how Wiccans are they they kind of keep it to themselves It's a personal religion. It's not like a go out there and convert everyone type of thing. So anyway, my dad's a Wiccan and recently I went back to Tassie for a trip and I decided to like just randomly go for a couple of bookshelves and I found a few books on Wicca and I was like, well, I'm here, I might as well read on it because every time I ask him about it, he kind of like avoids the subject and moves on. Um, I do see him every now and then standing out in the dark and night looking up at the moon going, uh, and I'm like, Ooh. That's interesting. Anyway, so he's got these books and I just started to read through them and that's how I got my little bit of understanding of Wicca. And then I thought, hey, you know, I'm gonna purchase my own couple of books because, you know, he's my dad, I should understand his beliefs a bit better. So I purchased probably like three or four books on Wicca. Now this was about the time I was traveling to Fiji. Now, about me, so I'm an Esperanto speaker as most people on this channel already know. I speak the international language Esperanto, which is created language designed for intercultural communication. It's got somewhere between two to 10 million plus speakers, blah, 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 blah. If you wanna know more about Esperanto, there'll be links down the bottom. Anyway, so this story is about Wiccan and Esperanto, and I was traveling to Fiji, and we're staying in this little resort. Uh, we're going out every day, going and seeing the sights, but at night time, I sat down, I read these books on Wiccan from my dad, and there was this one particular book. It was like black and white, um, small text, like some graphics not much but it, it was an interesting book and I liked it so but it, well I just confused the hell out of myself anyway so we're coming to the end of the trip and I just had this random idea pop into my head I don't know where it came from don't look at me but anyway so Fiji is a highly Christian country there's a lot of Christians there and they're very devout in their beliefs they're not like Australian Christians where Yes, I'm a Christian, but I go out drinking every day, I fornicate, I do bad stuff, but I'm still a Christian, I believe there's a God up there. They, these guys are actual Christians, like, they truly believe it and they follow and they, the scriptures. I haven't seen anyone get stoned yet, but they, they're on the way. Anyway, so these guys, um, they've got like a, a, it's like any other hotel, okay, or resort. They've got little Bibles inside every cupboard. And I'm looking at this Bible, and it's pretty cool. I forget the name of it. There's like a group that goes out and gives out Bibles. And I've got my little Wiccan book, and I'm thinking, maybe I should swap out the Bible and put the Wiccan book in there, see if anyone reacts. And then a better idea popped into my head. How about I grab that little Wiccan book and I deface it with like pictures of demonic actions of snakes eating Jesus' head and, you know, like all sorts of bad fornication type stuff and, you know, just general evil stuff. I thought, what and I just totally scribble through this book and just create random stuff. Now the Wiccans who are watching this, if there is any, they're probably like, you are a bad person, you're making us look bad. And I'm so sorry, but I can't help it, I'm just an idiot. So I'm going through and I'm defacing this book and it's not something I normally do, but you know, I was having some fun. And to be honest, I was also defacing Esperanto because I was writing all this like random stuff in it that looked like demonic, like you know, um, spiritual type stuff, you know, uh, I don't know, like, um, what's the word for it? Uh, vocations, I don't know what. Anyway, but I'm writing it all in Esperanto, so if you don't speak Esperanto, you don't know what Wicca is, this book looks like now, it's some type of demonic spell book, because there's all sorts of, like, random stuff drawn through it, and I'm, like, blacking out the front page and stuff like that, and it took me hours, like, literally, I put, like, probably, like, five hours in the whole trip into this book. My missus is sitting here going, what are you doing with this book? And I'm like, just stay back. <laughs> I have a plan. But not just that, right in the back of the book, 
I scribbled this email address. Now, obviously, it's not my personal email address because I don't want to be hunted down and you know, burnt on the stake, but just an email address I set up. And I just, you know, wrote in Esperanto and, you know, like, contactum in formo, uh, plida in formo. And basically, that translates as contact me for more information, but people are going to see that and go, that's like evil Latin or something. Anyway, so I put this book under the Bible and we check out from the hotel and we fly back to Australia. And the whole time I'm like, <laughs> this will be so funny. Um, and every few you know, days, maybe once a week, I go and check that email address. I have yet to receive anything apart from spam. But I'm waiting for the day that someone contacts me and goes, teach me your dark secrets, oh master. But yeah, I'm waiting for that day. It hasn't come yet. Anyway, that was just my random story that popped back into my head. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, whatever. Leave some comments, insult me. It's all good. We're all friends here. So yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. And if not, well, the demon wicker Esperanto people will come and get you. <laughs>